uh, Ninja <laughs> is actually looking to start <laughs> starring in Hollywood movies or anything outside of gaming. He wants to go into the acting world. And in the little articles reading about it, they're mentioning like, yeah, the Ninja, the Ninja team makes about $1 million a month. And so now they want to make movies and shows and voice acting and do whatever they can to further expand their legacy. So what do you guys think about that? Um, I think voice acting is cool. I think, like, you know yeah. what? I think it's really smart for any talent in gaming, outside of gaming, gaming, when you're starting out YouTubers, even we've seen this with YouTubers, when you're starting oh, yeah. out to expand your horizon. Um, are- <laughs> oh, well, you're yeah. in a movie? <laughs> oh, wait, you're in the trailer <laughs> thing, weren't you? in the next Mortal Kombat movie. This is breaking. <laughs> I'm an <laughs> extra. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you play in a Mortal Kombat movie, Caboose? I don't know, but Retro. <laughs> 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 anyway. A big guy with like four arms or something. Goro, <laughs> yeah. Goro. <laughs> that's the only guy I know. <laughs> I know. I think it's smart for anyone that's getting into entertainment, whether it is starting to stream, make content on YouTube, um, even if it's doing voiceover work um on like small like series right like um rooster teeth has ruby right like expanding your horizon you don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket even i guess if you're making a million dollars a month right you're making a million dollars a month just on views i think it's smart to expand your horizon and it's also smart to secure the viewership of the next generation right like younger gamers they know ninja um so if they see ninja i think this came up because ninja is in he's making a cameo in um what's that mo- ryan reynolds movie the gaming free guy. one free guy yeah so yes. what's that yeah. i don't know oh it's, my god it looks so cool yeah it's almost like if uh if you took gta online and made a movie about one of like the <laughs> random npcs walking yeah around. it yeah. looks yeah. good wait really oh that's it's a awesome. funny concept it's it a is funny concept. it's a I really will- funny concept I will say, if Ninja, people aren't going to like this, but it's okay. If Ninja does get into movies, he's going to end up like Nicolas Cage. It's going to be Ninja <laughs> playing a character. I love that yeah, take, actually. He's not, cause I can't, because he's so recognizable, Ninja's and his right. face is just like, you know, it's, you, it would be him playing a character. It wouldn't feel like a but character. Voice Ninja acting. Isn't that just Will Smith? Whenever you see Will Smith as Will Smith as Deadshot is Will Smith playing Deadshot who Suicide is Will Squad. Smith. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? That, like, I, yeah. Right? I, it, I think it's hard for people who have so much limelight to kind of transition and morph themselves into yeah. a role. Um I you know, I think that especially with Twitch streamers, when you're in the millions of viewers, you know, it, it would be really hard for them to transition. It, it would be like the Kardashians trying to get into acting. <laughs> it would work, you know, people would hire them and people would go see the movie, but would it actually add any value is my... There would be no work of substance. It would be like... Yeah. You know, like I could see Ninja showing up in like a Transformers movie. Yeah. <laughs> or Sonic yeah. 2. Doing like, a Fortnite dance. Directing it. Doing a Fortnite dance. Like, like I can you see know, that happening. You know how they but always do those cameos of, like, gaming celebrities or, like, YouTubers, and they're always playing, like, the character that is a streamer or a YouTuber? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I like I don't see I don't see Ninja popping up in the next Dallas Buyers Club trying to win an Oscar or something like that. That's not, that's not happening. It might happen but, like, now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like I could I could see it. I mean it, it makes sense definitely from like a business standpoint as somebody as big as Ninja. It's like yeah, for sure at this point in his career being as big as he is, why not try to see if you can dabble into that. Right. I doubt it's going to work. He probably hasn't taken a single second of acting classes or know anything about that stuff. Like we're going to see Ninja pop up in a movie but uh, yo what's going on dude? Like dude, like bro, can we, can we start flossing? <laughs> like dude. Like you know like that's exactly what I expect out of Ninja popping up in a movie or on set of a movie. You know, I don't I don't think yeah. he's like gung ho yeah. and actually ready to be acting. But I don't know. At the same time, I also feel like Ninja just gets a lot of crap all the time for literally anything yeah. he does. Like that dude breeds and people hate on him. So I feel like just let him live his life. Let him do what he wants to do. I think voice acting is cool. I want to get into voice acting. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. You guys, you guys going to flame me for it? Huh? Yeah, you did. Well, I'm a YouTuber did Joel. Guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did do Joel. <laughs> he Yo, did, did. did. <laughs> actually do really good voices caboose I, you know i want to see that and i think it's smart for everyone to expand their horizons 
And if you are streaming or in front of the camera in any way, usually it's because you like to entertain, right? Um, that's usually a factor of it. And you could entertain in different ways. So I'm pretty sure, you know, Ninja actually was on Mass Singer in uh, the Netflix series. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So oh, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, yeah. he got a feel for what it's like to be, you know, although he's probably got this before, but to be in a reality show setting. So that may be brewing in his head as well. And mm. with being on set for Free Guy doing that cameo, that may also be like, huh, maybe acting is something that, you know, he, I should try out. Maybe that's what he's thinking. And I, I don't think that's necessarily, I think it's unfair for us to be like, oh, you know, he's going to suck at it. Because I look at people <laughs> like, um, uh, for example, Jordan Peele, the comedian, before yeah. he put out Get yeah. Out. Like before he put out Get Out and um, crap, what's that other movie? I can't think of Us. it right now. Us, Us. yes. Um, people would be like, he's going to do a serious horror film? What? That doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. right? And then we saw that he did the work and it worked out for him, right? So if Ninja does the work and it works out for him, power to him. I, I think that's great. Yeah, but I feel like in the case of Jordan Peele, like he mentioned that he wrote Get Out a very long time ago. Like yeah. I think he said he, it was yeah. like something like 10 years ago. And mm -hmm. so that was like, that was a project of his that a but large he, majority of his life he wanted work. to work on. He right, was already right, right, right. on that. He was on Mad TV. He was known as that comedy guy. He just didn't yes. talk about it, right? So like he was working on it when he was known for just putting out jokes and being fun. That's funny true. Guy, right? So That's like true. If, he, if he were to bring it up back then when he was on those shows, when he was doing Key and Peele, people would have laughed at him because yeah. he'd be like, dude come on and we would have had the stigma going into those experiences with like oh that's you know that's this guy remember he made that joke definitely about, this, it's gonna suck it's gonna suck definitely right? so like may maybe ninja should have just kept his mouth shut and just did <laughs> maybe ninja did take <laughs> <acting> <laughs> <classes>. your mouth <laughs> shut all right <laughs> <laughs> tell us what's coming just surprise everyone when you're actually killing it on the oh thing. my god that? <laughs> that's true i mean he did a phenomenal job on the the new year's party right oh you guys remember that? that crowd <laughs> it was electrifying Very captivating. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys hear you know j cole the rapper yeah yes. yes so he's actually been really serious into basketball for like the past oh, two cool. and a half years i think he's been Wait. really cool about it he is actually it, it's been rumored people close to him reputable sources have said that he's actually going to try at 30, I think he's 35 or something, to make it into the NBA. Okay. And he's like, he's going hard. And like, I think that's so admirable because it, firstly, at 35 going into the NBA, wow. But also just trying to better his skills and practicing. Like if you right. visit any of his social media, he's always posting about him on the court. And I think it's okay to think, outside of the box of what we've originally seen these people for right like yeah. if you think about yeah. ludicrous in all the so, fast and the furious yes. movies right <laughs> but he's like, in this <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, fast yeah. and the furious wouldn't be the same without ludicrous <laughs> on the side right like it, that's a certain put that change. as the quote on the cover <laughs> fast and the furious wouldn't be the same without ludicrous <laughs> <laughs> no, like it adds Luda. to that charm <laughs> Luda, um, it adds that charm. Even Will Smith, you know, he started off as yeah. a rapper. Was, can we call him a rapper? No. Um, <laughs> he started off as a rapper, Fresh Prince, and now look at him and the types of movies he's putting out. And although we see him as Will Smith in everything, maybe that's not a big deal because it's driving money to the box office. Right. Well, and True. but with J. Cole, are you know, is he gonna get picked up by the Lakers or are we gonna see him during the All Stars halftime game, you know, or the halftime show? It, right. It's one of those things where it's like, is Ninja gonna get a starring role or is he just gonna be that background cameo until he can prove that he has that kind of prowess and the capabilities of yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I think he has the potential. I think he's really talented, and I think that he's proven that he's smart about how he does everything, you know, business-wise. Uh, it's just a matter of if he has that kind of capacity. And plus, if people are hiring him just to get that his gamer audience, they're probably not going to go see your movie because they like the movie like the movie or they really wanted to see that movie they're gonna go yeah. see it because ninja's in it and if ninja doesn't do too well or ninja didn't get a really big role they also have to think about how that's gonna affect their ratings online 
because <laughs> Twitch viewers are, and you know, online gamers in general are not the most forgiving when it comes to online, you know, reviews. Yeah, that's true. It could definitely make or break him. And I think that's what the scary thing is for a lot of content creators that go into a new space or a new venture. It's like, if it will be a success, if you will get laughed out, if your community will feel that you're a sellout. And I don't necessarily agree with being a sellout, trying to mm-hmm. go on to do other things. Like it's, it would be yeah. pretty boring to start streaming at 17 was it when well he was competing in halo at 17 ninja and i think he was streaming as well and then to continue that for the rest of your life and that's what you're supposed to be known for i think yeah. i think that's stupid there's a lot of content creators that start off really young they don't even know what they want to do when um like for their life let alone when they get older you realize what other opportunities are out there I think it's it's expected to see people progress, try things, fail at them, or be really good at them. Um, so, yeah, I, I just as long as Ninja's going into this, as long as he's going into this with with passion and yeah. with the with the mindset of willing to put the work in, and not just I'm going to show up on set. I don't care if I know my lines or not. I'm Ninja. You're putting me in the movie. You know, like if he's if he's showing up and he's like, I I, I know what I got to do. I'm yeah. ready to go. This is what I'm passionate about. Whether he's good or not, good for him for at least trying. Good for him for at least giving it a go. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's just about whether or not he's gonna do that other thing that I mentioned. You know, that's and that that's the <laughs> same goes for for everyone else. You know, you look at somebody like Will Smith, and I feel like the reason why he was able to find a career in acting after being like a musician essentially was because he was he put in the work. You know, he 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 realized that he has to make an effort in order for this to succeed. And look where he is now, you know. And so if J. Cole wants to make it into the NBA, then <laughs> gotta put in the work. And based on what you're saying, I guess he is. So good for him. Good for actually him for giving it the old honest effort. Yeah. Uh, another great example is um I'm watching a documentary about the Bulls and yeah. Michael Jordan's period going into baseball. baseball a lot of people yeah. like scrutinized yeah. it, saying like, oh, he just wants to be good at everything when he really just did love baseball and wanted to put yeah. and wanted to really, really try. And, and according to like the documentary, the the teams he worked with, I think it was the White Sox. They're yeah. saying that he just improved at an incredible rate and he's just truly a gifted, gifted athlete. And he didn't do it because he wanted to be like the best at everything. Mm-hmm. He just they, did it because he loved baseball. It they just said sucks. that he would have made it. He would have made it to major league if there wasn't like a strike, right? There was something, yeah. something like that happened in baseball, oh, and, yeah. and that's why he ended up essentially going back to basketball. And and I remember there were people in that documentary. By the way, the Last Dance, incredible documentary. Yeah, it's like, I actually haven't finished it yet, but it was really good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I won't spoil. I guess I won't spoil anything. But essentially, the idea was, I feel like, had there not been a strike, he would have gone to the major league. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, one YouTuber that I used to follow, Lily Singh, she's like one of the biggest YouTubers that kind of have oh yeah yeah I know. Up in mm-hmm. Hollywood in terms right. of having TV shows and everything, and she's been open about talking about her treatment. Although she's getting these opportunities, um, and she's trying to kind of go into acting, her treatment in the acting space is acting space. Sorry, is nothing compared to her treatment in YouTube. So she's reveal like she's a this huge youtuber everyone knows that when she goes to any youtube event they treat her pretty much like a list celebrity but then she goes into acting and she doesn't get treated like that and she understands that and she doesn't want to be treated like an a-list celebrity but i think we have to acknowledge that when these streamers or content creators are going into these other spaces they have to kind of although they're getting that leg in or that foot in the door they still are starting off at the bottom, right? So right. if we see Ninja maybe do like his couple cameos, he was on The Masked Singers, he's doing that. But like say in two, three years from now, we're still seeing Ninja in television shows or making a cameo in movies. I feel like people have to give him respect because he's doing that on his own. Like no one will want to hire him in Hollywood if he's a drama queen, if he's just trying to make it all, or yeah. a diva, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No one will want to do that. And if he's just giving a poor performance, right? So yeah. I think if the longevity of their careers in these other uh, ventures will also give them more repu- reputation or a better reputation for their work. Yeah, I agree. I think, uh, yeah, another thing from, from the Michael Jordan thing was that uh, 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 everyone that they were working with, he was saying, or Michael Jordan even said, like, 
or maybe it wasn't him, but anyway, he still treated it like he was a rookie going into and going into baseball, and he treated it like yeah, and like yeah. starting from the ground up. Start from you gotta the let me know what you think when you finish it. I want to know your thoughts. Okay, I will oh. for sure. I love it. It's so, so good. good. So good. Um, phase in chat says, "Is does this mean that esports is coming to Hollywood?" What do you guys think? I mean, a lot of orgs are kind of getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like esports has already been in Hollywood. There's been, you know, multiple rappers that have um, invested right. in teams. Phase right? Clan is a huge one yep. that's been investing in athletes, rappers, musicians, just talent in general. Thieves. Yeah, Hundred yeah. Thieves as well. I think Michael Jordan form... invested in Team Liquid. I think. <laughs> it's yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. I, yeah. I mean, Rick Fox. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. I think esports organizations are working to craft narratives right now. Mm -hmm. So that way they can, going forward, they can start to make that step uh, to kind of make an impact in traditional entertainment. Because if they right. can craft the narratives now and they can put out their own small little films talking about players and different things, if that player does something that's truly, you know, groundbreaking, that just already puts them at a head start for when they want to make that break into traditional entertainment and mm -hmm. start telling a narrative about esports, but with their own twist and with their brand at the forefront. Right. I completely agree. Um, mm -hmm. Richie says, it'd be kind of sick to have some gamer movies or reality shows, man. Yeah, and I feel there like some of them already exist on YouTube. They're just not mm -hmm. in the forefront of Hollywood. But I think with time, we all agree, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see and hope that there's more of these gaming celebrities in Hollywood.